are here with Chiquita and Dukes. Yeah. Mini Golden Doodle Babies. Our all girl litter. Yes. And these are more of a peanut butter color. Little um, dark pink here would be considered a light red. She's got the most red in her. And I would say that green and light pink are going to be apricot. Yeah, I think they're going to actually lighten up. And you can almost see a little bit of an undercoating here, but not too much. The peanut butter usually stays peanut butter. And what we've been noticing with our reds um, and some of our red puppies is that they might lighten up and then it goes back into a dark stage again. So just because your dog might lighten up doesn't mean they're going to stay light. But anyway, we're three weeks old. This is our first video with this litter. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. I mean, you just can't get a more perfect litter. First of all, I, I understand you guys have heard me my spiel about the gender thing. And um, we certainly, we feel that a, a neutered male is your best, most laid back option. Um, but we have some awesome female service doodles as well. And of course we keep a lot of females ourselves. Hi, here I'm gonna put you in my lap for the purpose of breeding later on. So um, we, we don't feel like, you know, females are a bad choice, but anyway, females definitely are usually um, a popular choice when it comes to selling dogs. And so um, having an all female litter is very unique for us. So everybody is going to end up uh, on this litter with a female. So if you don't want a female, this is not the litter for you. This litter is all reserved right now and we are keeping the very first pick. No, I don't know who we're keeping, but um, my daughter Jessica is here with me. You all know Jessa. And she's got, is it light pink is your favorite? Light pink is her favorite right here. Um, we're leaning a little more towards a light color. So at this current moment, we're probably looking at, at green or uh, this green or light pink, but we just don't know. Uh, I mean, they're only three weeks old. We have to, we have to look at everything. They all have a, the same coat. They are all gonna end up with that wavy coat. And um, yes, and I'm like, little green here is just tearing up on me a little bit. That's not, that does not mean he's going to be a tear dog. He's just um, needs to be, yeah, needs to be wiped up here. Um, they all have kind of the same blocky look. I would say if anybody doesn't have a super blocky look, it would be a little dark pink here, but I look at her little legs. Are your legs shaking? I'm holding her with one hand. That's not the norm. Yeah. But anyway, these guys are awesome right now. Their personalities are just so sweet, but they're only three weeks old, so we're just going to have to wait and see that uniqueness that comes out. Um, usually by our fifth week, we see a little more of, you know, some... Some of those things that make them individually unique. So you can look at their colors. So you can kind of see there, I would say uh, lightest is gonna be light pink, then green, and then lavender. And um, purple and pink are gonna be our darker ones. It's pretty good sunlighting in here, so you guys should be able to see pretty good. But anyway, look at them, they're doing good. And now we're in week three, so we're gonna be starting our gruel. Look, they're all huddling together. It's not cold in here. This is there. What we use is, um, you guys, the, those who have been with us for a while probably recognize, we use these nice, thick bathroom rugs. This is what I like using for our puppies. It keeps them warm. It's got a unique texture. And obviously, if there's potty on there, it's not going to you know, cause a problem. It kind of keeps them from being wet if they do potty. Um, Mama cleans them up. Mama is the one that cleans up the stool messes and all that. And at this stage, um, they're just starting to be able to go to the bathroom on their own. Puppies, you may not know, actually can't, they can't poop on their own. Their mama has to stimulate them to potty and poop. And so um, that's how they eliminate and she cleans them up. So mama plays a very important part 
um, we have had to do this with puppies before where we've had to bottle feed them or take them out of the, the group and uh, and then we have to do that part, <laughs> not licking them. But you have to you have to go ahead and kind of do things to mimic mama. It's a, it's a lot of work, it really is. But uh, anyway, now they're gonna be starting to go to the bathroom on their own and they're ready to start their gruel, which is their first food. And that gives mama a little break with the nursing and it gives them all the nutrition they need. Look at everybody's just looking at us. They're not really doing much. We don't do much during our, our third week video. Next week, you'll see them start to kind of play, be a little more playful. And then we start um, playing with toys and stuff like that. Extreme close up, yeah. So here's our, here's our dark purple. So we have purple and lavender. So you look at the dark and the light. So lavender here. And then we have dark pink. And then there's light pink, which sometimes in videos and pictures can almost look white. And then we have a lime green, yes. Did I call you a boy earlier? I hope I didn't. Oh, oh are you gonna lick me? Are you gonna lick me? Yeah. So their daddy is Duke. Duke is our famous golden doodle and he has a lot of awesome famous children uh, that are out and about, not just in the country, out of the country too. Duke is an old dude. Um, but here we are doing something new where we've, uh, we're starting to um, do the process of, of inseminating um, frozen, frozen sperm from our males that have been famous and we're going to freeze them before the, the, their, their prime is up and that way we still have the ability to have these puppies later in life. Um, from our nice lines that we don't want to ever get rid of. It, it gets kind of, are you trying to look for something to eat? Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Let's see here. Let's take a look. Look at the little white tip on your paw. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Let's see. Do you have some white tipping on yours? Yes, you do. Right down there. I don't know if we can tell anything on you because you're all light. Yes, you are. Nothing on there. So on our, um, did I see you have, no, no, you're too light. So on purple and pink, pur dark purple and pink, they have that little bit of tipping on there. I love that. So just a little bit about Duke. Duke kind of has a sixth sense. He is our, um, he is our dog that I've told the story over and over again about how uh, Jessa here had a little bit of sleep apnea as a baby and Duke would go into her room, he figured out how to open the door, and he would wake her up every night. And I caught it on, on the, the nursery monitor one night where he put his little paw through the crib slats and he was waking her up. He was, he was just kind of bouncing on her uh, with, his, with his paws until she woke up. And uh, I was furious with him until we took her to the doctor and he said, you know what? She has sleep apnea, he could detect that she was not breathing and he would wake her up to have her breathe. And that was the first time that we realized the absolute uniqueness of Duke. Um, since then, uh, his puppies, uh, I, I've heard people say that they're almost human-like. Um, the other day, Duke got his paw, he's done this a couple times, he got his paw stuck in a fence. And he will make enough noise for somebody to come out, but he's not like one of those dogs that would totally lose their cool and be crazy about it. Um, he knows why you're there to help him. He knows that you may have to do something uncomfortable to free him. And he, um, he definitely, um, he just kind of, kind of gets it. Um, so anyway, these are his babies. So I'm just excited to see what's going to come of this. And that's why we're keeping one. That is why we did this breeding so that we could actually have one of these baby girls. We want to have that Duke line. We have continued Daphne's line. She's our other famous, she's our mama famous uh, dog. And um, Parker, Sanjay, um, Charmin, those are all Daphne dogs. Uh, Charmin is also a Duke and Daphne puppy. So those people on Charmin's litter, you're gonna have the same type of stories there. But um, look at you guys, you guys are just so cute. What will you do to this, to the sound here? What is that? What do you think? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, they are really awake. 
They're gonna be ready to go back to sleep here. They have just bursts of energy and then they're back to sleep. But um, yeah, this is probably a breeding we, we uh, most likely will not do again. Um, Cheyenne is not uh, uh, a breeding dog. She is going off to um, do some special work and so she is not going to be here with us. Um, if for some reason we decide to do another litter, we'll let you know, but it's not like she's going to be here. She's not, yeah, it's not something that we have planned. And so this is a, like I said, this is a one-time thing for these particular puppies. We will be keeping one. So the lines will continue for those that want to, um, have that kind of line. But, um, a Charmin puppy, a Parker puppy, a Sanjay puppy, you're all getting the same type of stuff in there. Um, not necessarily Duke, Sh uh, Charmin's puppies have Duke, but uh, Daphne's puppies are kind of continued on in the Sanjay and Parkers. So I'm gonna let you guys go. You've been staring at these guys for a while. Um, I'll try to uh, post a picture so that you guys know what these coats are. This is the more wavy coat. Duke is actually a curly. Um, the, the shorter his hair, the more tight of a curl. But this is that wavy ragamuffin look. Um, not a shedding, not a shedding. They're not a straight coat. Um, some people have expressed concern when they see a wavy coat like this and not a curly coat. They're like, oh, there's not gonna, they're not gonna curl up. Well, they, they're just babies. They have to get that longer hair for you to see that. Um, but no, this is, this is actually what we aim for. This is a coat that people really do like. Um, the look of, especially with these little blocky faces, and just, you're not getting, uh, you're getting more of a retriever look here in the face, and then you're gonna have all this kind of fluff out and have bangs and stuff, so we'll show you all about that. But anyway, look at you guys. I am in love with these guys. This is gonna be kind of hard to choose one of them, but we'll let you know as soon as we do choose so that you can continue to plan what it is you're um, looking for. Um, our picking and pickup are on the same day. So we'll do, make sure that you guys are armed with your temperament testing, lots of pictures, video. So when you come, um, you'll spend 45 minutes choosing your puppy and then the last 15 minutes, we'll just go through your puppy packet and you'll be off. All right, guys, I will include some links here to our weekly updates so you can follow them, follow their parents and you can get some more information. I will leave you, um, uh, also a link um, these puppies when they go home it is just in time for the Hilton Butler training and I'll leave a link to HiltonButler.com that is the trainer we use we absolutely adore them they do wonders with the puppies and if you're gonna have a doodle you absolutely 100% need to do training they're smart they need training and um, Hilton Butler has a three-week puppy boot camp and uh, so you get all that training plus all of the rest of your potty training and they will help you throughout this puppy's life when you have training issues or needs. So um, I'll put a link to them below and uh, you guys go ahead and make sure you subscribe, hit the little subscribe button and then the little bell, the notifications, uh, make sure you select um, on there all so that you get notified when I do put up a video. I of course put links to the video in the weekly update, but usually that's like maybe later in the evening or it can even be um, the next day. So if you wanna see video right away, that's a good way to see the video. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.